Today we are going to talk about matplotlib. It is a module for Python to create charts. So uh, we are going to use matplotlib and for this let's go and save it in, uh, in a folder and let's give it a name. So we're gonna import mat plot lib this library and uh, in particular in particular pry plot as plt that is how most of the coders uh, import matplotlib and then we are going to take uh, start with the most simple thing ever so um, let me take some uh, some numbers that can be can be for example the views of a block channel and let's say that it is something like three uh, thirty six hundred forty two hundred and uh, five two hundred okay now this will be the views in different month and the month will be something like July 19 and August 19 and September and June 19. Okay, now we want to make a simple chart using matplotlib. What we got to do is, for example, to if we want to create a, a, um, a chart with bars, let's let's do this plt dot dot bar with okay we are going to first of all create an uh, a number here of a list that we will create with uh, numpy or or even without NumPy for now. Let's just say the range of the length of views. Okay, so this will be... Let me close this and let me print in, in the to see what this is. Okay, it's 0, 1 and 2 is just... are just indexes indexes so we are going to do plt dot bar to make this uh, just grab this uh, this chart with in the is in indexes and with the views and uh, we're gonna put here the width of the bars then we we need a title of the plot that will be log use. Then we will have a name for the for the vertical x that is the y and we will have a label and on this label we will just see say views number okay then we need also to place on the on the horizontal line so x x the um, we have to put our 
um, the month. Okay, so on the x sticks, we are going to put end and comma and month months. Okay, and on the vertical, apart from the label, we are going to put the x x y ticks that will be um, that will be a random number let me use x for x in range 0 uh, 6 600 and 1000 for step then at the end, I think we have done, we're just going to show the graph. There it is. Okay, we got our, um, we could have imported NumPy to make this range stuff, and but we avoided for this time. We got the July 19, we had 360 or 3600, 4200, and uh, 5200 in August. So we see this this progression. So this is the simplest way to create a graph with matplotlib. And in this graph we used bars. In the next videos we will see other kind of graphs. Thank you.